Hey, hey. Live from the joint. So I'm making some chocolates mm -hmm. today. And this is going to be my first attempt at chocolates. I don't know if I should put these little eyes, but I got these little poop emojis. So I'm going to use these because these are about the size of a Reese's peanut butter cup. I also, for you guys that like the cinnamon toast crunch, this is the cinnamon toast crunch bars. They'll be there. So I just finished those up. Alright, so now this is 12 ounces of chocolate and I just got the Hershey's Kisses. And what I'm going to use now is I'm going to do something different today. This is what I'm doing. And I'm not even going to say what this is because if you don't know, then you don't know. But I'm actually going to make these, which is going to come out to one gram per candy. Alright. I mean, your doughs can be up to like 3.5 grams. So what I have to do is I have to heat up the chocolate. And I can't have it real hot. That's why I'm going to use my little candy thing. And then I'm going to put the powder in. Stir it up. That should give me 28 candies at 1 gram per candy. All right. So like I said, this is something new. And I have all my gloves and mask on because I don't want to inhale this. But it's melting nicely. These should be good. But I just, uh, actually I have to ground that up a little bit more. So I'm going to do that. I don't have a mortar and pestle. That's what I have to get. I don't have that. I have to get one that I can grind stuff up. Alright, but that's my chocolate. And then we're going to fold this stuff in here. I'm doing a live. I'm only doing it in the, in the here. You can walk over there, though. I made a chicken if you want to eat some. There was leftover chicken in here. I saw that. All right. So this is melting nice and again you can't I'm not using a double boiler because I don't like working with the water I just think it's like another step I don't do water with my butter either and this actually doesn't heat the chocolate it melts it nice but it doesn't heat it so it has a controlled temperature is what I'm trying to say I'm rambling on because this can't be too hot because if you have it too hot it actually interferes with the the way this stuff works So these melted nice. These are Hershey's Kisses. 50% off because they're Christmas candy. Alright, so this. I'm going to grind up this powder. You know what? What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run it through a strainer. I don't like to touch it though. This might be something new for your all, you all, but this was not new. I'm 56 years old, and this is stuff that we did when I was a kid. And follow the Grateful Dead. <laughs> and do this kind of foolishness. But anyhow, like I said, this is nothing new. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to run it through here with a spoon and just grind it all up. And then I have to fold it in to my chocolate. And I can't really do this. So you're going to have to come back for a part two. But this is melting nice. I'm going to have to grind the, the stuff up, make it into a powder. Whew. I'm not putting anything in there. It's just going to be straight chocolate. No coconut, no nothing. Basically because I don't have anything here to put in there. But we just do the straight chocolate. 
do 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 let's see and then what I'm going to do is when I do it and I stir it in it's going to be a pasty so all right so now what I'm going to do is let me just grind this up more you're going to have to um you're going to have to stay tuned for part two because I'm going to make a part two because I can't. Actually, you know what? I'll put my camera on the stand and then I won't have to, to do a part three. All right, so this is melting. Let me go and let me uh, make this into a, a, a finer powder. I actually thought it was dust, but it's not when I took it out. So I have to make it into dust. And then I'm going to fold it into the chocolate all right so stay tuned for part two I'm gonna set up the camera okay so I'm back so what I'm gonna do is since this isn't dust what I'm doing is I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna sift it just like you do it like flour and this way I'll just have I'll just get the dust because I just need the dust See, so I took, this is like just the bits and pieces, but there are some big pieces in here. So I'm just going to see. And I need an ounce. And like I said, I am not a shroom person. I was, but I don't, you know, I'm just not anymore. Matter of fact, I never really was. I mean, I, it was never my thing. But apparently it's, it's like they're brand new now. But they're not brand new. Because I'm certainly not brand new. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to take this. And I'm just going to sift it. Just like you do with flour. And I'm going to get all the big pieces out. And then my chocolate is over here. And the chocolate actually melted up really nice. Here's my chocolate. This is Hershey's Kisses. On sale at the, I don't know, Rite Aid CVS. I don't know. But like I said, I don't have a mortar and pistol, so. Yeah, it's going to be one, uh, should be one gram per chocolate. All right, I need all my taste testers. I want you all to... See, oh look, see this is not a, see? that certainly isn't powder, right? I want to bite into that, they taste like crap. But, weed man said this was powder, so I was like, oh, I'll just make the powder, and now I'm making this crap. But whatever, it is what it is, right? Sift some more. I got my gloves on. I got my mask on. You know, it's a fake yes dude, uh, John Jacob Smith. Very, very original. Keeps coming on the page talking about um, that we're not wearing masks and everything else. We are wearing masks now at the joint. When you're outside your social distancing, you're not required to wear a mask. That's up to your discretion. Inside, everybody has a mask on. We have a mask on. I have my mask on now. And now the next wave is coming. I mean, I just did my quarantine for a COVID exposure. I got my negative test back. I have my gloves. I have my mask on. Thank God. And um, now basically everybody that I know, and I haven't come in contact with anybody because I have been doing the social distancing and, you know, don't go out anywhere. Pretty much everybody I know is... Uh, has had COVID, so um, this is the second wave. You know, people always post, oh, do you know anybody with COVID? Yeah, like everybody I know now has it. You know, like, but um, like I said, I don't go anywhere. I, I go to work, I go to the joint, I scream and yell down there. You can ask uh, Weed Man, ask him how much I scream and yell about everybody wearing a mask and clean and shit and everything else. So, but I've always been like that. I mean, clean and everything and, and then it wouldn't be a problem. Well, Chuck, you know where it's at. 
I'm not making any promises because this is my first attempt. And you know me, I'm an evidence-based person, so I I do all my research and then I get my recipes and then I go ahead and I just like an experiment. So I have my hypotheses. Can I make these chocolates? And my end result is that I can make these chocolates and that they're good. So we're just gonna check it out and see if I'm right. Otherwise, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna modify what I'm doing. And hang on, the cat wants to go outside. Come here, princess. Princess Kiki. Princess Kiki. Princess Kiki. Princess Kiki. Come on. Kiki. I'm not gonna stay here all day with the door. Come on. Kiki. 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 All right, she felt the cold air hit her and she is not going anywhere. So that's Princess Mary Jane. And she's on the floor, she's not on the counter, I didn't touch her. <laughs> I know I'm always talking about I won't eat people's stuff because they probably get a cat all over the place, but she's on the floor. She knows her place. Now I need one ounce of shroom dust. So is everybody watching from New Jersey? I don't know. I got 11 people watching. A bunch of people watching before. Well, I guess everybody's bored. Okay. So let's see. Let's see how much I got here. I just need an ounce. All right, I have 0.79, so I'm almost there. I think we got Ziggy Isaac on the porch tomorrow. We wins there, I think, from 2 to 8, but just double check. Go on his email mailing list. Oh, PA? Oh, okay. Alright, so there's some of that. I'm trying to look for the ones that are most powdery. This is some bullshit in here because I don't like sticking my I don't like breathing this stuff. Like I said, if you're wait a minute. This is not well look what this is. This is somebody's weed in here. This is not mushroom dust. Okay, this is, look, anybody my age? Anybody remember that? With the little baggie before they had Ziplocs? Okay, I'm showing my age. That's what we did back in the day, right? Okay, how's my stuff coming here? Do, 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 do. Well, some of these stuff there. All right, well, some of these stuff there. You can get in there. Okay, so I got 0.79. I'm mixing all the stuff together, so this is going to be all different kinds. So this should be like a salad. You know those people that mix all their weeds together? Salad people, that's me. what we're making anybody that just tuned in I'm making dust like I said this just hit, hit like the hood I don't know like, like I said it's like it's brand new okay okay we're at 0 0.85 we're almost there I do not want to touch this stuff and I'm not saying it because it's bad. I'm saying it because I'm not a... I'm just like really hypersensitive to it. And this wasn't my plan for tonight. To be shrooming out. All right. I'm almost 
to my ounce, and then we're going to fold this stuff in. All right. And that's going to be, like I said, it should be pasty because I don't want the chocolate to be real. That's why I use this. And some of this is powder, so I can just, if you see it, see it? Powder. I also made the um, cinnamon toast crunch bars. So they're there. Bugs and Freedom and Modi are all here sleeping. One more sift and I'll be good. I don't know. I didn't realize this is supposed to be. This is supposed to be already measured out. But I don't believe it. I always weigh my stuff. Always weigh your stuff out. I don't ever believe nothing. And don't believe anything anybody tells you. Always find out for yourself. Okay. I guess I need background music. I gotta sing myself. Oh shit, I almost put the bowl on the floor. Alright, so here's some dust here. This is gonna finish it up. Okay. So what I have is I have 12 ounces of chocolate melted or one ounce of dust. Oh shit, all right, you need 0.2 more. And then we got to stir it in, but this, unlike with the, with the, um, with the weed, this, if you have too high of a temperature, it actually affects the way your body absorbs it. Okay, this is perfect for like a one ounce of shroomy doomy dose. I like to double. I have these special bags down at the joint that are like smell proof and stuff. I like to double bag everything because plastic is porous. So if you pick something up and there's plastic, I mean, this, this leaches through, so that's why I've got gloves on and everything else, because whatever's in there will come out onto you. So you just gotta be careful when you handle on it, if you don't mind, you know. I'm gonna put this in a different container, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna, uh, we're gonna take this, this is one ounce, Let me clean up my mess. I don't want to have any of this shit where like anybody can. Wash everything. Okay. So now we got my one ounce. And now we got our chocolate. So what we need to do with this chocolate. really mix up this chocolate so this chocolate really is a good temperature it's not boiling or anything it's a little bit warm so let's see I'm just gonna test a little bit and see how hot it is so it's a little bit hot it's not super hot but like I said, it will affect the, it affects the efficacy of the drug. That's how the drug works. 
efficacy. So this is not boiling hot. There are some lumpies in here, so let's. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mess with this chocolate just a little bit more, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do this. Um, oh my God, that's good as hell. Okay. So it says it can't be boiling. It's not boiling. I just want to smooth it out. I don't have those little lumps in there. I'm going to turn the heat off. Actually, I'm going to turn the heat down. Do, 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 do. And this is my thing I got from, uh, I don't know, Michael's. <laughs> And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it in there. All right. But um, you got to stay tuned for uh, part three because I'm just going to mix this up a little bit more. Put the powder in now. This is the powder. See, it's all ground up. It's This is actual powder. This is 12 ounces of candy and one ounce of powder. So it's going to be like paste when I do it. But it's got to be mixed thoroughly. So. And it is if you see it. Look. This is me mixing it in. And I'm doing it with a spoon. I actually should do it with a bigger spoon. I'm just going to put the whole thing in. Because this spoon is going to break. can't be super hot. It's going to affect my shroomies. But this is it. I'm going to show you. See? It's like all pasty. So I'm going to get going with this. And it is like a paste. not be taste testing this, like I said. And nothing, you know, like I said, I'm just not into it, so. <clears throat> yeah. But some people are, so no worries. Right, no worries. Everybody's got their thing they like to do. Like I said, this is my first time doing this. You know what, Princess? You had your chance. I'm going to pass over here and go outside again. You had her chance, right? I have to press it down in there. It's not a choker that runs in. I don't know what it's going to look like. But hey, let's see. 
Okay, right? And I'm just going to take like one spoonful for each one. Now this is going to be a gram. Until I'm done now. I'm going to clean these up. Now, if I get 28 of these, there's going to be one gram in each. If I get less, we'll just adjust the dose. Okay? Because, I mean, one gram is a nice starter. Like, it gets average dose for people that do this kind of stuff. It's 3, 3.5, 28. We gotta, gotta do this and then see what we get, right? But that's why I need like whoever, you know, tries them. I need feedback. And I always say that. Because then I know how to adjust my recipes. You know, like when somebody gives you something and you're like, oh shit, this is crap, I'm never eating their stuff again. And you don't say anything to them and then they think their stuff is good. It's not. So. I welcome the constructive criticism. They said it was the size of a Reese's peanut butter cup, but these are going to be stronger. But like I said, I'll adjust the dosage. You can see it, that's me filling up the dam. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to finish filling these up and then I'll come back and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, everybody. I just made some brownies. Now this is MCT oil. It's um, coconut, but it's coconut flavor. It's 30 ml. It's 19%. That's the stuff from the backyard. I got the brownies. And get, get, get. And let me show you what I got here. Anybody know what that is? All right, now I'm sure you know what this is. So now do you know what this is? Let's see. Don't mind me. I gotta clean my house. Alright, I'm gonna give you another hint. Anybody know what that is? 
Anybody know what these are? I know they look like something else. All right, so here we go. I'm going to do this. I'm on live, so shh. No, Rach. I know. <laughs> no, Alexander, you're wrong. It's not keep. Try again. Yes, there we go. I go over here the mold, but I guess that could look like something else. I'm not going to do like, you know, anything pornographic here, but that is a mushroom. Yes, there we go. So what am I going to I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take this, <clears throat> and I'm going to take this. That's what I'm doing. Yep, absolutely. Ding, 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 ding. Sheridan, you got it. I don't know, Ed Lego. What do they look like? <laughs> and I'm saying that as a nurse, as a licensed professional person, what they could possibly look like. Because uh, the things I've seen in my lifetime. Okay, so this is melting. I just went out to the pharmacy and I got some chocolates. So I'm going to mix this in. See, I'm mixing it. And again, this can't be too hot. So this is probably going to be good that I can mix. I don't have a cameraman, so I'm going to have to put this down. We're going to have to do part two. And actually, my phone's getting ready to die, too. But, um, all right, so I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put it into here. That's freedom in the background, crying like a stupid baby. All right. Okay, stay tuned for part two. Okay, so the molds that I used were too big. So I'm going to use these little, these are the little mushrooms that I made. So these are going to be one gram. I'm going to have 28 of them. All right. So what I'm going to do is just pull this stuff out of the other molds and I'm going to put it into the mushroom molds. Because I didn't, like I said, it's the first time I made it. So this is the mushroom right here. Going to be one gram per uh, little candy. I thought they were too small. They said to use, um, they said to use a mold the size of a Reese's peanut butter cup. So I use these, but as you can see, I'm going to pull all the chocolate out. I'm going to put it into these molds here. All right, so this is what it looks like. And actually, I just tasted it. It actually tastes pretty good. You can't even taste like the stuff in there. It's a little gritty because of the, the dust, but that's it. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do these. I'm actually going to make some brownies, too. I'm just waiting on Weed Man to bring my butter. So um, this is the mold. These are the mushroom molds. So the little shrooms. I'm going to make these little shrooms, and then I'm going to pop them in the fridge, and I'm going to take them out, because if you leave them in the fridge too long, they actually turn white, the chocolate, so you don't want that to happen. So let me finish doing the mold. Like I said, the, the, the little poop emojis, they're way too big for these, and it gives me way over two grams in each one, so I don't want to do that. I want to make them one. So, all right, I'm going to finish doing that, and you have to check back when they're all done, okay? So there we go. Making shrooms. Okay, last part. My phone's getting ready to die. What are they? The little shrooms. I'm gonna pop the rest of them out of the molds. they are so that was what I just made so we just pop them out of the molds and when the when the candy's done they're easy to pop out of the molds just press on them I was taking them out early before that's why they were giving me a hard time you know what I don't know These are the ones, huh, Fabio? Imagine if you were here ripping up the carpets and doing that room. <laughs> you could eat all the trim and everything else. All right, my phone is going to die. I'm going to take the rest of these out. Package them up. All right, happy uh, Saturday. <laughs>